Hello everyone, whoever is new, welcome to my channel, tribe, welcome back, lovely to see you. So today I'm doing a reading where we're going to look at comparison, kind of, of the end of 2019 and in general how your 2019 was, we're gonna take a look at that too, and how 2020 will be for you, like a bit of an overall comparison, comparison, what's happened in the past, what's gonna come to you and whatever messages will come through, I'll pass it all to you. It's going to be a long, big spread, so I will probably have to have cards on the side and I'll show you cards on camera as we speak and take a look at pile number one over here. That's your intuitive card as usual, whoever is new here, I am reading from abstract as well. Pile number two, that's your intuitive. And pile number three, that's your card over here. Which one you are being drawn to? Maybe you heard a number before you looked at any of these cards, so I would suggest maybe picking two piles in that case, okay? And I will see you in the timestamps. Hello tribe, whoever has picked this intuitive card over here, I do have a lot of cards laid out. It's because I have a lot of questions and I wanna find out as much as possible. So some of them are off camera. I will show it to you as we speak. Now, this is a very interesting pile, guys. What I'm looking at, one side is um, 2019 and end of 2019, okay? The other side is 2020. Now, I want to start with the cards that I have over here. I don't know if you can see. So, that's the one from Oracle Deck. And I have another one for 2020. Let's kind of tune into your energy in 2019. But, what I would like to say, some of the things, guys, that I'm going to say about 2019 are going to happen still because we are in November. Some of the things for some of you might have happened already, okay? So I'm gonna just try and be as um, open as possible so I don't put you guys in a box, okay? Now when it comes to the Oracle deck, what we have for 2019 is don't dim, don't dim to fit in. And it says, how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have started kind of saying, you know what? Um, I am not going to be the way you guys want me to be, whoever that might be, family or friends or lover. And uh, you are finally, it seems like, understanding in 2019 that it's time for me to walk away from things that are not my vibe, which is a really good thing. Um, it is clarified by the devil here. So these top cards over here from zombie deck are going to be telling me what it is that you have to watch out for and the rest is just a general, okay? So what you are watching out for in 2019 is trying to steer away from energy that is kind of toxic for you okay you're like you know what no sayonara i don't need this i don't need this money i don't need um the alcohol or cigarettes i don't need that toxic person okay they are too codependent and maybe it is me who was like this before and now i'm understanding how to get out of that belief that you know it's for me how i see this is someone who was always in their head thinking what if this and that will happen but kind of in a negative way you know kind of being fearful and that's what you let him go of it seems like because here what i do see next to the devil what to watch out for in 2019 guys is watch out for connections that uh, might seem tricky okay uh, watch out for people who might trick you in saying, oh my God, I really actually love you. But when they take their mask off, you start seeing the devil and the ace of wands next to the devil is literally, I'm kind of getting that trickster kind of vibe here. I'm do, I do get a bit of a playboy type. 
uh, I am also getting people who are trying to say how good they are, trying to prove it to you, being super nice at first, but when the mask comes off, then you start seeing how toxic they might have been to you, okay? So if you haven't gone through this already, this is something that you might be going through uh, in the month of November and December, whenever you're watching this video, okay? For some of you, it can kind of stretch out to January, but I don't really feel it like this in this instance, okay? Now, when we talked about um, don't dim in to fit in, this is a really, really nice card. You're like, what I'm gonna do from now on, I will go where my heart is leading me and I don't care. But just be careful, guys, when it comes to 219. Um, we have Peacock here, which says, <laughs> beware of great pride. And then it says, you should accept valid criticism, okay? So stand your ground, but stand your ground in a way where you are still open-minded to other people's opinions um, and try not to take it too, too hard too much because everyone will see the decisions you are making or your opinion from a different perspective and that just happens okay so that's something that i wanted to put out there for you guys now what you also have for end of 2019 a sincere wish will be granted and let's jump into this so it's a lot to do in pile number one about money okay the theme of this reading is leaving situations and concentrating on the wish on something that you have wanted to do but maybe you couldn't maybe you were too fearful maybe you were scared what other people might say if you decided to do something but more so it's to do with how do i get to a place where I'm financially stable and a lot of you have started doing that already and some of you already are in that state so take whatever resonates. I am going to be working on these pentacles so then I have enough money for my future kid, kids, for my future family, for the house that I want to build, for the house that I want to buy. And I really do get for 2020 for you guys that someone will be choosing a place or a um, place to rent or a house to buy or choosing home decor. Actually trying to, trying to get the wish that was always in you but you never maybe had time. It seems like you will try to make your house feel like home more and you will be very proud of how you will decorate your home or how, what kind of paintings even for some of you, uh, you're going to buy. Some of you will actually be changing the way you look in 2020 and it's going to literally change you as a person, okay? I'll come back to 220, let's stick to 219 still. Um, in 2019, you might have had, for some of you, you will have a trip. And that trip is to do with work, guys, okay? Um, it's actually a good trip that I'm seeing here. This trip probably will have given you, or yeah, this trip will probably give you, for some of you, it has given it, to you already okay with the ace of wands here at the top um, a really good idea of some sorts so if you haven't taken a trip when it comes to work or when it comes to any kind of collaboration you might be taking that trip unexpectedly because i feel like a lot of you are not expecting that to happen just yet but it's going to happen probably towards the end of 2019 okay now let's take a look what else we have here i do see that there was a situation for some of you guys in 2019 where you were like um you know what i'm gonna stop myself from going there so it can be the person because it lays right next to the devil it can be um any addictions it can be sex it can be drugs it can be addiction to money maybe you're approaching money now in a different manner too codependency it's like you're lo looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like you know what i'm gonna stop myself there and i'm gonna ground myself and from now on i'm gonna try to be this person who has their emotions together who has a plan 
who has finally started following what what um, one has written on a notepad make sense it's a lot to do with you kept planning in 2019 probably throughout the whole year but maybe things were not happening the way you wanted them to be and now when it comes to 220 we do have you already saying you know what i'm gonna go towards my wish nine of cups right here okay i will be go towards my wish in a slow paced manner but super calculated um still you do have eight of eight of cups here and you do have eight of cups in 220 so there is still an energy that's going to be cleared from your life when it comes to the beginning of 220 and it's a lot to do with um someone who is younger than you are maybe there is a um, young spirit or um childish type of a person or maybe for some of you it can be also to do with work you're like you know what maybe that's not my place to be therefore i will start making decisions and i will be more patient when it comes to earning money but i will seek for my own happiness when it comes to this and what you do have from oracle deck for 2020 it's dance with life. Do something to change your energy. That's an overall, guys, for you in 220. And I really love this card because look at how big this moon is. Do you know what it means? It means you will be literally following your gut, following your heart. And that's the only way to take make the right decisions in life. When you stop listening to anyone else, Take a look at the 2019 one. Don't demand to fit in. You already know that you know what things that I want to do. Maybe uh, some of some people might not approve, or they might be opinionated. And in 2020, you're like releasing yourself from that energy, and you're like, I'm enjoying my life to the fullest because I know where my gut is leading me, and that's the best way to go about things. Now, for some of you, um, in 2020, we do have a tower reverse. So it says, whatever is left there for you to still clear, people, work, whatever is not for you, okay? So take that change as a last clearance, okay? Um, because it seems like with a tower here, you will be, but it feels like it's not universe pushing you to do th something you will be doing it yourself. That change that you will be going through, you'll be like, you know what? That's one more thing that I want to get rid of. I want to go towards that way, you know? And this is your decision. This is not a tragedy of any sort. This is you standing on your own ground saying, you know what? I feel like I'm going to shift that direction I'm going towards to. And some of you might start learning something new and you're going to be feeling really good about it. It seems like you're not probably going to share about what you're going to be learning with a lot of people. And it's because it's a secret project of yours of some sort. Something you really, really want to learn. Bird might be influential for some of you. Cat. And then what else I saw here? Um, and planes. And I don't know why. So maybe some of you are planning to actually be live your life in a more lighthearted way. Where maybe you're going to take a break in 2020. And you'll say, you know what, maybe it's my time to travel and let go of the Ten of Swords situation. When it comes to Ten of Swords, I don't see it in the way that you would usually see it here because of temperance sitting right above it. This is talking to me about um, taking care of your health in 2020, okay? You used to be like this when it comes to overthinking, when it comes to... <clears throat> When it comes to giving yourself so much pressure in your head and you'll be like, you know what? Nah, I'm done with this. Therefore, you will start feeling happier. And I don't know why in my head I heard serotonin. So some of you who have been depressed in the past, especially in 2019, you will be not given an F when it comes to everything, when it comes to people's opinions when it comes to um, the way society wants you to be you'll be like I've been there I've done it it's not working for me I will start taking care of myself and I will do anything 
that is going to help me to get there to get to get to those nine of cups the wish coming true okay now some of you might actually that's very specific uh, start uh, studying or you have something to do when it comes to your career with medical science of any sorts um, medicine maybe some of your doctors nurses um, etc etc and that's something that is going to be if you're waiting for news when it comes to your work if you are in that field this is saying the news will be good but you have to wait a tiny little bit okay now right below it i'll show you here you have a ladder okay and literally it says climbing towards success so you guys have really good cards when it comes to getting your wish coming true you have a wish will be granted with thread and needle ladder climbing towards success and nine of cups and it's a lot to do with money guys so if you feel like you don't have enough if you feel like you would want more you will be approaching work in a different manner i feel like some of you guys are souls who would want to take some time off and travel or take some time off to be free and that's what you're going to be doing but listen to your gut because what to watch out for we have two of ones here from the zombie deck and this is saying you don't stand still don't overthink don't twist your head to too many directions because your gut already knows where you have to go and the moment you'll quiet your mind you will know which direction to take okay so try to be in that grounded and stable uh, manner where you're like i'll take my time and i will choose which painting i want to buy and it doesn't matter how long it's gonna take me i know i need that time because then once i have decided the money will start pouring in my bank account i will have more than i had before and that's something that's gonna stay with me it's not it's not a situation where it, money comes and goes okay it's a situation where money comes and you lock it in and you save it for something that you've always wanted guys okay it's really really nice pile number one honestly now let's take a look at the person who's going to be influential in your life and i've pulled cards uh, on a side because i just don't have enough space here so description of a person this is someone who has been from uh, through similar situations like you have in life and this is someone who also had to calculate when it comes to um decisions in life and say you know what I feel like when I'm thinking about this whole situation, I feel like it's not, there are more minuses than pluses, therefore I have to leave, okay? And this girl seems very similar to that one. Someone who stands their ground and also doesn't care when it comes to others' opinions. A lot of that is coming from pile number one. So maybe you used to be someone who would care too much what people thought of you. You would care too much of um, what your parents even would say or what your um, partner would say when it comes to changing your life around. And uh, this is someone who is a bit like you will be in 2020. Some of you are already like this in 2019, okay? I don't care I'm gonna stand my ground so this is a very strong-minded person okay they know how to detach from people and situations in life once it doesn't serve them anymore they're like no sayonara I'm going and what they're gonna bring you guys I'm kind of excited for pile number one because it seems like you will guys come together and take a risk when it comes to travel it seems like, and you know a situation where you meet someone, you start chatting and then you're like, I, w I would just want to pack my ga bags and go to Bali tomorrow. And they'd go like, let's do this. I don't mean it in that in extreme manner, but it's something about the situation where you're like, yeah, we should do that. And therefore, you will take a trip of some sort that's going to be very lighthearted. You guys give me a vibe of someone who would want to um probably just go camping in the middle of nowhere 
or go to an island where no one else lives and just explore nature very much of a traveler and explore explorer type of vibe is coming from you and if that's something that you have been wanting to do that's something that you will be doing in 2020 i do see a massive trip for you planned out in 2020 where it's going to change your life around guys and that is why we have tower upside down what i said to you you will be changing your life yourself it's not like universe will be making you clear more uh, toxic people it's not about that as much for you guys it's more like you know what i'm excited about that trip i'm looking forward to it therefore you will be doing it but you will not be doing it alone there is going to be a person who is very trustworthy and someone also who has experienced things in life and they will know about a lot about when it comes to traveling okay they have been there they have done this and maybe you will meet them at a time where you will need that kick or you will need someone who would suggest you to go somewhere okay who okay let's pull some more cards from kipper deck that's very exciting let's see what else 2020 will bring you let's see we have living room again it goes very well with these books over here doesn't it okay learning experience of some sorts but there's a lot of freedom coming through that bird over there like that learning experience will not be something that is um i have to learn this and i'm so bored you know it's more so you will be learning it because you want to I honestly feel like pal number one will be tra planning a massive trip but it might include more countries than one a bit like travel around the world type you know taking time off and enjoying your life giving yourself a break to understand what it is that you really want and 220 will give you that freedom okay and then we have abundance I told you it's all about money this pile number one okay pay attention to let me pick the numbers for you guys number eight number eight number eleven and number nine okay number eight is the strongest here let me see what else Okay, a very strong message here. If any of you guys have noticed or you do have that number somewhere, would it be on your bank card? Would it be anywhere? Would it be in your phone number? Uh, but it has to be in order two, seven and one. That is your indication that you will have much more abundant in 2020 than you have been before. But I'm more so picking it up where you guys have to that's an indication to take that trip that you're looking towards to okay if you don't have it planned yet you will okay we're looking at 220 here take that trip because that trip will give you an understanding where you want to go next and don't worry about money too much like you have been in 2019 because you need to take a break in order for everything to settle in right places where you then will be able to understand your life's purpose purpose if you haven't come across it just yet okay you just need like i'm hearing a month or for some of you to break where you're gonna be exploring life okay let me see what else we have here rest yeah rest or illness so this is something for some of you saying take a take care of your health okay if there is if you again i'm going about this traveling if you're going to be traveling somewhere far away make sure you take all medicine that you have to okay before you travel and injections that's needed you know take a look at it also for some of you this is talking about um take care of your health meaning take a break when you need to like chill like that cat in my nine of cups okay you want to eat the cake the whole cake do so um that's not very healthy right i'm talking about taking care of your health i'm saying listen to your body sometimes your body wants sugar sometimes your body wants um sour take a look 
and listen to your body what it wants. It wants rest, give it to, to your body, okay? And for some of you, you will be, as I said before, taking time to relax, okay? Rest. And um, it's gonna be a really good period in your life, I think. And we have stress and fear, and we're gonna, I know what this is talking about. We have two cards that I haven't told you about at the bottom here. So one of them, we have club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Avoid going by others' opinions uh, at any cost, pile number one. That's not something that, that is for you, okay? You know where you're going, go your own way. That is why we have stress and fear here. And then we have barrel, it says you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals, but more so it's money for you when it comes to your mindset, okay? I don't have enough, that barrel is broken. But if you looked at it in a way where I still have a barrel, you would change your mindset completely. Therefore, more abundance would come your way, okay? It's all about your perception. If you feel abundant, money will be coming to you. When, when we're talking about money here, which this pile is all about money and travel, okay? And let me see what else I'm picking for you here. Let me take away the Keeper deck. My God, I've been talking for ages here, hey? I keep seeing, I'll give you keywords. I keep seeing mountains. I do see trees laid out in a certain way as if someone has designed it to be that way, like landscape designer, I'm not sure. Um, something about that. I am also seeing um, skeleton of a fish super weird but these might be the signs that you might come across okay maybe on your social media you might see something like this maybe in real life um walking on the street somewhere you know then what else i see i see an ocean gambling keeps coming through here with the devil and steering the wheel. But when it comes to steering the wheel, it's all about how you will be navigating your life in 2020, which is really, really exciting. Like, I would love to join you on that trip because I'm so sure that some of you, you will take it, okay? So let me know how that resonated, pile number one, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now. Hello, tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two, this intuitive card over here, I know a lot of cards laid out and a lot of them off camera and we have a lot to talk about. So what we're doing today is, let me just adjust this a little bit. Um, we split in two groups, okay? So one is in 2019 and one is 2020. Now the messages I'm gonna pass you when it comes to end of 2019, so some of them some of the events might have happened already and some events might happen for you guys in the future so you know your scenarios take whatever resonates and how it resonates in your situation okay all right let me brace myself and let's get into this i would like to firstly start talking about 2019 and let's take a look at the oracle card that i have picked for you right there Picked, as if I handpicked it. Well, what popped out was boundaries and it says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? And I feel like that's what has been happening to you in 2019. You might have, by the way, these top cards, I'll show you. These top cards are talking what to watch out for and all of these are going to be general. So look, when you look at the boundaries card, I just love this card. It's because it's saying, you are saying no to bullshit. You are saying no to people who might be dra draining you. Uh, sorry, I can't speak. Draining your energy. You are saying no to that phone call that you don't want to take. You are saying no to that gathering that you don't feel like going to. You are saying no to a friend or family member. You're like, you know what? Enough is enough and I'm gonna take care of my own energy. And that's how Two of Wands in this zombie deck 
is speaking to me. You might have been in the past before, like, I don't know what to do. My heart is telling me to stay, but people are telling me to go. I don't know what to do. Therefore, you end up literally twisting your head 360 degrees, right? Like, I don't know what the hell is going on. And uh, <clears throat> there was one way if you went uh, where it seems like this person is kind of fearful they don't want to go there the other way that guy's happy right so i feel like that's what you've been working guys on in 2019 establishing boundaries with people establishing boundaries at work at home in friendships in relationships and that's something that is really really good okay because when we take a look at 2020 oracle card over here it says don't dim to fit in and it says how are you dimming your light in order to fit in which you won't be doing in 2020 you'll be like you know what i'm gonna go my own ways and do what i what the heck i want to be doing and i will not be giving my extra i will not be giving all of my energy to other people i will save more for myself because i will need it okay so you have a plan for yourself pile, num pile number two okay let's take a look at your 219 first all right have any of you been on a trip so it's for those who have it who have children it seems like you've been on a really, really nice trip. Um, a lot of nice family vibes coming through here. So maybe you even went on a trip um, with your friends or with your um, family or with your kids. That it was really nice. It was such a good time, guys. I don't know why I'm picking this up. If some of you have not gone on that trip yet, that's what's going to be happening because we are still in November. Okay, whenever you're watching this video, you know how to, you know, to waste the situations. So it seems like in 2019, all, all 2019, you had a wish and you tried to get... It's like you try to get clarity on how do I get, how do I get there? I have so many ways to go about this wish. I probably have two interests and ones and I don't know which one to choose. Um, do I choose the castle? Do I choose the ring? Do I choose a dragon? What do I choose? And 2019 se seems like decisions, decisions. And you do have, guys, a lot of options. So it's not like you are you are being... Pres it's like you're not desperate, guys, okay? When it comes to finding new ideas or finding new jobs, you, I feel like you do have offers coming in your way. And you did have really good opportunities in 2019. If you haven't that, that, had that yet when it comes to work, this is saying it will come to you okay not in a near few not in a far future not in the near future <laughs> oh my god so there has been a conflict when it comes to making a decision i really don't know which way to go and it's such a mystery it seems like for you pile number two when it comes to deciding your way deciding the path you want to go to but if you guys have at any point been drawn to being a mentor a teacher a helper of any sorts um someone who is spreading their word in order to help others someone who's using their power to help others it's all about helping others in pile number two this is saying you have to choose that way be that helper for people be someone people look up to um those who don't have as much as you you are there to save them okay now i don't know this is very strange some of you in 2019 might have lost something literally i see people losing things or some of you actually got stolen something from the house or from the car and it seems like this was pre-planned for you. This is such an interesting scenario. 
this was pre-planned for you to teach you a lesson of some sort. I'm not going to get into this too much because we're talking about the past. I'd rather talk about future. But um, whatever, I keep, keep hearing being intrusive. So maybe someone actually stole something from your heart even. You know, like don't take it in a 3D way. But it seems like you needed that. Okay? And um, for those who have been burned in the past when it comes to love life, your Queen of Cups is upside down now. So towards the end of 2019, guys, you have to reverse the Queen of Cups upright because you will need that. Um, this is saying do not be closed off when it comes to love connections. Do not uh, try to keep your emotions hidden and show yourself as you are, okay? Whatever has happened in the past, you have to learn it in a way where you don't shut yourself down, okay? And I keep looking at that window and it seems like it reminds me of a boat. Maybe that's something that's um, influential for some of you. It's like a keyword. Maybe you've been looking for a sign like this. Um, Scorpio is coming through here and this is saying reverse your Queen of Cups upright again uh, in order for you to be ready for for 2020 because I'm getting in pile number two there's a lot of love coming into 20 okay I wasn't getting that in pile number one but in pile number two it's all about loving others and being loved and it's not as much about just seeking for money. It's more so seeking for connections. Um, those honest, nice connections. And it will be happening to you because we start in, even though this is a card that's saying what to watch out for, okay, into 20, you do have a victorious card. And I cannot interpret it in a negative way only because I've looked down below and we have Ace of Cups, okay? Now, for some of you, that can be an indication what to watch out for with that devil below. Saying watch out for those. If you're seeking for love, but you see that someone maybe wants to have sex more so than love, uh, that's not what they're seeking for. Maybe take a step back. But if you're looking for uh, expressing yourself sexually that would actually work out pretty well for you guys okay because we have queen of cups next to it and it's a big possibility that you might be thinking that i'm just gonna hook up with this person just because i feel like i need i need a spike in my life again okay and it might actually turn to something serious guys look at that hero plant over there queen of wands queen of cups by the way Feminine will be very important in 2020. You will be affected by females uh, who are going to bring you good things, okay? They will help you out when it comes to... Um, when it comes to being indecisive and when it comes to you needing help, they will be there for you. You do have really good females surrounding you in 2020. You will be victorious AF. You have such good cards, pile number two, when it comes to 2020. I can, I cannot. There is a person who's preparing to come in your life in 2020, for sure. But they are not there yet, okay? Because we have what to watch out for, King of Cups Reverse, saying watch out for someone who is not emotionally, emotionally ready yet. But... I do feel from these cards that this person will be preparing to come your way. So don't push connections when you see like they are not just they are not ready yet because someone will need a bit more time and the moment they will come back uh come back being their own fullest king of cups is the moment when relationship will start working. Makes sense. I know it's very complicated but Someone will need time when it comes to connections in 2020, okay? You might meet that person, you might have, um, you might see each other, but there might be a possibility where you have to take a break at one point in order for you to say, you know what, you like, 
I've learned that in 2019 that I am keeping my boundaries when it comes to things that I don't want. Maybe that's the connection that I don't want it as it stands, okay? I will give it time and I'll mind my own business and I will wait for a better connection to come. For more kind of, I don't want a king that's reversed, okay? I want a king that that's upright makes sense so that's something that you will be learning in 2020 it's a lot about family and it's a lot about really lovely amazing connections look at these two cups how the temperance in my deck looks like and how the queen of cups looks like it's all about winning in 2020 okay and cups is love this is pure emotion and being balanced again and it's like you do have i mean guys i cannot stop pile number two you do have love coming in your way okay whoever is in relationship already i do see people getting married in 220 if it's not you, then it's going to be someone else and you're going to have an amazing party where you might even meet someone in someone else's wedding, okay? Let's take a look at your, let me just tell this, at your tea leaf. And for 2019, what we have, it says something important such, such as new job or raise, okay? What I do see from this is that some of you guys have changed jobs in 2019 and probably for some of you, it wasn't expected um, and it was a good shift. And the others, it feels like it might still, you might still change your job when it comes to end of 2019. We're still in November, okay? We do have ball and it says, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. So this is like a heads up for you guys, stand your ground when it comes to you, okay? And again, it goes very well with boundaries, stand your ground, okay? Um, have your, your own beliefs, but don't push it onto others. But when it comes to you feeling like that's not what I believe in, kind of retreat. Even for some of you, I feel like it might be a situation where someone said something and you're like, I don't think it's right about me. I don't think it's correct. And therefore, you start retreating from this person where like, um, I don't think that you are my part of a tribe, you know? Something about that where you're learning how to recognize those who are meant to be in your life and those who have an expiry date, you know? We meet people, they come and go and it's okay to let them go. We have clouds and it says temporary problems. So this, it feels like, because it stands literally right next to Queen of Cups, it feels like you will guys try to get your heart open again. It's something about being trying to be more open because whatever happened in the past with the Five of Wands reversed wasn't very nice to you, okay? It was like, mm, you know what, I kind of felt it. My intuition was telling me that. And uh, you will be learning how to see the sunshine through the clouds again, okay? When it comes to 2020, we have a tower. Don't be afraid, it's a good tower. It says solid foundation, success with effort. And I feel like, guys, literally, it's sitting right in the column where we're talking about your success when it comes to... I feel like some of you guys maybe okay i'll just get i'll just go there listen someone had an experience an uh, intimate experience that wasn't very nice in the past and you will have one more chance i mean it's not that it's your last chance on earth but there's going to be a chance um to hook up with someone and maybe you will be expecting it to be like mm, you know like i don't know uh but it will be better than you you would have expected. Um, sex will be on point for pile number two, by the way, in 2020, okay? If that's something that you um, didn't have for some time, that's gonna be happening in 2020, don't you worry. But it's not in that kind of, you know, player type of way where you just meet someone, um, you sleep together and then you never hear from them again. No, it's going to be a connection that you will learn from. And for some of you, the Hierophant is telling you this might be a serious connection, okay? 
Then we have a bat. It says take care, enemies are working against you. Well, obviously, because you will be a winner in 220 when it comes to relationships and also when it comes to mentoring other people. So if you have a career that is related to teaching others something, whatever it would be, okay, let's not, not put you in the box, guys, here. You will be doing really well because from my keeper deck on the side here we have abundance okay and then we have work occupation so your work when it comes to mentoring or helping others will be on point and your money will be flowing um, in a very natural way where you don't don't think about it too much you're just trying to be the best version of yourself in 220 therefore universe will be gifting you back okay will be sending you a lot of things back and in a way where your 220 will be very balanced comparing to 219. 219 wasn't bad when it comes to money for most of you here okay not all um, but 220 it seems like you will not care about money anymore but it will be coming to you double and maybe because you will be letting go of thinking how do I make more money okay you will be you will care how to become a better person how to love people more how to open your heart chakra again and how to give something from pure heart then we have a carriage it says a journey either physical or mental so for some of you guys you will be taking a trip okay now let's take a look at the person who's going to be influential in 2020 for you okay let me pull from my steampunk. Let's kind of see um, what kind of personality this person will have. And then we'll see what they're going to bring you, okay? Wow, card already flying. Nice. Someone who... I keep hearing cancer. Uh, I know this is for wands, but this is someone who... Um, who cares about their home environment, someone who likes celebrating traditions, someone who is a really good homie, would be a good homie, would be a good husband or wife, something about really cozy home environment here. Another one, uh, Knight of Wands. I have a lot of fire here, so it might be a fire sign for some of you, but I do have a lot of water when we come to, when we look at 2020 so it might be a water or fire sign for some of you okay this is someone who is very curious in life and someone who maybe that's why you're learning boundaries in 219 because someone who doesn't um just say you know what um they don't want to argue let's say and they just say okay just you know i'm just gonna let it go that's your opinion it's correct whatever just to avoid the argument no this person will be standing their ground and maybe that is why you have to learn how to stand your ground too so it is going to be not in that you know egoistical way where you like that is my way and that's it you will have uh, good discussions with this person how to communicate in a way where you express your opinion but it doesn't become an argument. So that's what kind of connection this is going to be, okay? Let's take a look at what they're gonna bring you. We have Knight of Pentacles, okay, let's see what else. We have Nine of Pentacles, okay. Wow, okay, what else? What? And a king of pentacles. I'm telling you guys, pile number two, you're going to whoever is not in connection just yet. Whoever is your husband or your wife will be super supportive, motivating, and they will start some kind of uh, business that it comes to... I keep giving here an entrepreneur of some sorts, okay? The money will be on point. Now, whoever is single, guys you will meet husband or wife material person. I already talked about it with a hierophant, okay? So that's what we have here. 
king of pentacles someone who has their own money their own business possibly too okay guys um but someone who also likes to make a house feel like home someone who cares about house too not like i come back home tired i bring money to uh, into our household but i don't care whatever is happening in the house he'll be like no let's celebrate christmas let's celebrate new year let's have traditions going let's decorate together i mean this is an amazing, amazing energy here. And with Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who might be moving slowly at first once you get together, okay? That connection might not be like, might not start off a very fast paced, but it's gonna be a very stable, stable connection, okay? So if you are impatient, guys, try to kind of take it easy when it comes to this connection because it's going to be worth it. At the end of the day, I really do see people meeting people in 220 and getting, ending up getting married, okay? Even if it's not gonna be in 2020, it's going to be someone you meet in 2020 whom you're gonna get married with in the future okay all right guys pile number two by the way we have one more card here just a heads up we have prison and restriction and we're gonna kind of clarify what the heck this is talking about and that's for 2020 okay let's see okay uh, make sure king of swords reversed not speak you know it's all about communication for you guys make sure you release everything from your mouth <laughs> okay this is the weirdest thing ever like why am i so weird listen it's all about um having a thought and releasing it um verbally okay so um communicate clearly do not restrict um your mind your opinion when it comes to in general speaking your mind guys that's something that's not gonna be serving you if you will try to be too nice if you will try to be like okay you know i'm not gonna um even though i know that this person is not right i'm not gonna get into this um you kind of have to speak your mind guys and if you will not this is gonna keep you hostage in 220 okay so communication is the key keeping boundaries is the key and living your best life don't dim to fit in is the key and i'm looking forward to your stories guys whoever will meet someone in 220 who is marriage material and you will be super happy together please come back and leave me a comment if you will remember okay and i'll speak to you soon bye for now Hello tribe, whoever has picked pile number three and this intuitive card over here, let's jump into it. So I have a lot of cards laid out on my desk. For you guys, I had to pull two of the oracle cards because we had the boundaries in one, on, one of the other piles, but I also more so felt like there is something else that has to be said when it comes to oracle. So I've pulled two of them and for 2020 we have pulled one how it works is that's the side of 2019 that's 220 now things i'm gonna be talking about when it comes to 2019 for some of you guys um some scenarios has already happened okay for some of you that's going to be happening in the future because we are still in november when i'm doing this reading okay for others watching it at any other time you can just look back to 2019 and take messages from 220 okay so first off what i'm seeing here guys we do have a pattern in all three piles which is getting rid of unnecessary things and especially in 219 okay it's like people are finally um People finally realize that I am going to stand my ground. And this is this was coming through in pile number, I'm not sure which one of the other piles. So maybe if you were drawn to one more pile, go and take a look at it. So 
Would you have align your life? What is not aligned or needs to change? And then we have boundaries here. About boundaries, I'm gonna repeat myself. Um, it's more so in 2019, you have decided to say no to people. You are finally standing your ground, keeping the energy for yourself because there was a point in your life where you were scattered only because you have given too much. And also, um, it seems like you finally get into know oneself where you are becoming a little bit more grounded that you than you used to be before. You are more assertive, pile number three. That's where you're heading towards to, okay? And you are like, no, I don't wanna go to that meeting. No, I'm gonna say no to this coworker or my friend or my family member just because it's not in my vibration. I don't wanna do it. I don't feel it's right. Um, I feel like maybe taking some time for myself. And that's a, a main thing what you have been trying to learn in 2019. Also, align your life. It's a lot to do with the cards that we have here. And let's talk about it. Oh, guys, I feel like there's a very interesting story going on here. So when it comes to your 2019, um... I do see a situation when it comes to align your life where you might have felt like you don't have enough when it comes to money, but you did put yourself in, in put yourself in that situation where you like thinking more of what you thinking more about what you lack and rather rather than what you have, you know? And that was not um was not healthy for you, pile number three. It's uh, a lot to do with changing your mindset when we are turning uh, to 2020. In 2019, there were difficult times when it comes um, to money. And you were not sure at one point what the hell I should do about this. Uh, kind of left out in a cold kind of like feeling, I don't know if I'm gonna get any opportunities that I want. I don't know if I will leave this job, would I be literally effed, you know? Um, I'm scared to do things and I'm not sure because I feel like there was a tragedy of some sorts for some of you, not all of you, that has happened in 2019. Looking at these cards, by the way, the zombie cards on top, they are talking about what, what might be a negative thing happening or what to watch out for. So let's see what, what's happening here. In 2019, this is talking about the past, I think, for most of you guys, okay? If you look at all these cards, this is literally telling me someone has lost someone in the family or a close friend, an actual loss of a person, okay? My Five of Cups is very different to other Five of Cups, the regular tarot, right? This is talking literally about someone weeping next to the grave, yeah, next, next, sorry, I can't speak, next to the grave, then we have death, then we have justice. All of these cards are talking about a loss, okay? Whatever that loss would be, a person of something that's very, very important to you. It felt like it was a tragedy for you guys, pile number three, okay? But that was pre-planned already. If we're talking about the person who has transitioned, okay? Uh, this is saying this was already pre-planned when they came into this lifetime. So you have to understand that. When it comes to losing something else that was really precious for you, this is saying that was pre-planned for you too, okay? That was something that was written that you have not seen. Uh, you didn't expect it happening, but you need to understand that everything has happened for a reason. Maybe for some of you, that's going to happen in the future still, but I don't think so. For, you, for most of you, you already know what the heck I'm talking about here, okay? So let's jump into um, what else 2019 will bring you, okay? We do have the Empress right here, the Moon and the Hierophant. Okay, what this is telling me, I feel like some of you might suddenly want to start taking care of your physical body, okay? I feel like some of you 
might suddenly feel like you want to work out more than before or you want to go dancing you want to move around you want to tune into your sexuality to feeling your your body and feeling good about it okay it's uh, appreciating oneself and appreciating how you are and accepting yourself for who you are too okay your intuition pile number three is going to be on point and whoever is um, intuitive or you are in this field professionally where you have to use your intuition this is an amazing time because you guys might advise people about things that maybe no one else has advised about before the information you will be putting out to people okay will be something that they needed at that time in order to shift for a better direction in order to change their mindset for a better which is going to influence the way they feel about themselves so that's for people who are more so of advisors of any kind in their everyday life too okay even though you're not in the let's say you're not working with tarot professionally or you're not doing any energy healings uh, if you're just an intuitive person you will be given really good advice for people and that is something that might turn for you guys into business okay so maybe some of you have thought about starting a business like that and maybe that's why I'm picking up for some of you here, okay? Uh, anyway, if you had thought about this at any point where you maybe would be curious um, working in spiritual field, whatever it would be, mediums, tarot readers, um, healers, anything to do with that, okay? Where you are sharing your ability and you're giving people insight and passing messages, advising people, that's your indication that that would be a good beginning for you. And that's probably something that is written for you to, um, to take an interest in already, okay? So it's not just like a coincidence that you're hearing this now. It's only for those who had this niggling feeling that they would want to do it sometime, okay? Now... At the bottom, we have a ring for that's for 2019 still. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. So for some of you, I feel like someone got married, okay, around you. Maybe you did get married. That's for minority. But it feels more like someone from family members or someone from friends um, got engaged or married. And I feel like you had a really, really good time. I do see palm trees. I see a lot of greenery and I do see stars. So I will leave it with you, but it's it's really exciting. For those who didn't have that yet, uh, you can, it's a possibility that you might hear someone getting uh, engaged when it comes to end of 2019 depends when you're watching this okay then we have ram it says a stubborn aggressive person so this is saying that you might come across someone who is very stubborn but that's when um we have this card of boundaries here saying you know what you're going you're not gonna be as nice as you used to be before okay it's not that you're going to be a bad person being fair for you is the most important thing pile number three so make sure that you don't um go and beat people up <laughs> with these horns over there okay <laughs> okay so it's more so about um you standing your ground in a very assertive manner in a very um you would express your opinion in a very calm and logical way which is what is needed for pile number three okay but be aware of great pride that's what it says here but it's more so i think it's talking about this other person not you so when it comes to dealing people like this who are prideful if their ego is very high okay and they're stubborn uh they only see the way they only accept their own opinion no, no one else is, okay? It's very difficult to convince them otherwise. This is saying maybe it's time to leave people like this behind, okay? Because maybe these people were feeling, were making you feel like left out in the cold because you were misunderstood. 
and you are not in your own tribe okay makes sense therefore 2019 it's a repetitive thing for all three piles uh, people have been working on um, getting rid of energies that don't serve them anymore but when it comes to people around them when it comes to friends and family members and maybe even communication you might suddenly want to cut some people out in 2019 just because you know when when you have an expiry date on products so that's what's happening here too and it's okay people come in your life they have to stay there for some time and they have to go for some of us we our vibration changes therefore people who used to be our friends even though they haven't done anything bad for us but they have to go uh, one person is on higher vibration therefore the other one is not working you know very well with you anymore so someone who is closed-minded for pile number three is not the person to to communicate with and it goes the same for 2020 okay make sure you don't communicate with people who are who you know i'm getting this type of um, who have an opinion before experiencing things okay so let's say if um if you told me about a dish let's say you had snails somewhere in france okay and you're like oh my god it was so amazing and i would go like ew this is disgusting i already have an opinion but I don't have any anywhere to... How should I put it for you? I just have an opinion, but I don't have an experience. Meaning that my opinion doesn't matter because I am being closed-minded. That's the person you have to watch out for and get kind of stare away from people like this okay because a lot of karmics might have happened for you in 2019 karmic connections i do see that happening here where you are like you know what i feel like i'm so open-minded why are people so close-minded why i'm trying to learn how to be a better person and everyone else around me seems like they just kind of difficult to deal with so if Unless you, for some of you, maybe it's you who have changed to a different person now from being close-minded, okay, and stubborn. So it's all about developing oneself as a person throughout 2019. And now let's take a look at 2020, guys. So let's take a look at, firstly, uh, what to watch out for. We do have a magician here. We, we have the Hierophant and the Empress. Let me just show these to you from up close in the same layout. Okay, so what I'm getting for you guys, watch out in 2020. Um, look after your diet because I feel like some of you might be bloated or some of you might have issues with your stomach or digestive system or maybe for some of you even... Um, throat okay so that's like a heads up for you guys now don't um, don't stay indoors too much you need to come out and be more active pile number three um, if you feel like sometimes you come back home you turn on TV eat and you don't want to get up your couch this is an indication that you need just to start changing your routine go out maybe plant some um, flowers in your garden if you have one or just in general do something outdoors when it comes to nature okay it feels like you need a connection with soil uh, when it comes to 2020 so whatever opportunities that you will have to go and explore to visit different cities to work outside, outdoors, maybe even volunteer, guys. If you ever thought about it, this is your indication saying, heads up, go for it, okay? Let's see what else here. Okay, so for pile number three, what I'm seeing here, um, you do have 10 of pentacles, which is amazing. And you do have the four of pentacles. In this deck, it's a different meaning for me. You will be saving money, pile number three, for 
some sort of idea that you will come up with. Okay, maybe for some of you, you already have an idea and it might involve a vacation or it might involve seeing someone um, you have known in the past, someone you know for a long time now. So that person and this realization of some sorts now I know what to do, where to go. If you look at my page of swords, she's looking that way, okay? She's like, hmm, where I'm gonna go next? Here you go, I have an idea now. Therefore, I'm gonna go and see this person I haven't seen for a long time. Or I'm gonna book that vacation that I wanted to book. There is a connection with water when it comes to vacation. Maybe some of you wanted to go uh, snorkeling, diving, surfing, anything to do with that. If you had that feeling before, but you are like, I'm unsure, maybe maybe next time, maybe next time, and you keep postponing it, this is your indication saying go for it, okay? Go and explore. Um, you will have money coming in. Money is not an issue for pile number three, but because I feel like the moment you have changed your mindset of not having enough and having... Um, not having enough as you want to have, but having enough for everyday stuff. Once you have changed your mindset, if you haven't yet, you have to do that in order for money to start flowing, okay? Um, and I feel like for some of you, yet, I don't know why, this is so weird. Guys, if you are planning to save money for something, okay? For something specific that you want, um, buy a red pig or anything red to put your money in, to save your money in, like this bowl over here that we have, okay? Because it seems like red color will be drawing money in for you. So it's uh, it's like your lucky charm. I would suggest you collecting money in, I don't know, in, in, in let's say in the red box, you know, just buy anything, anything that you feel like draws your attention to put money in okay and uh, maybe a red wallet for some of you guys okay that's very very straightforward and i'm sorry it's probably not for all of you but that's what's gonna bring you luck and right at the bottom here what we have we have coins it says money will be coming to you and it sits literally in the same column here okay for some of you you will hear from someone who ha whom you have known for a long time, who will be able to offer you something good when it comes to career, or if you will need help, they will give you money, okay? This is a very nice person, very dear to your heart, and a really, really good friend of some sort. Can be even a romantic partner, you know, but you have really good friendship together, together or a family member or friend. Then we have temptation will test you and we're gonna check what that is. And then we have spare heartache over what you no longer have. But this is to do with, for a lot of you guys, about release because I feel like you will have released a lot of people in your life. And maybe some of you will be taking the risk when it comes to uh, going for your wish. So whatever dream that you will have in 220, there's going to be a risk, okay? I have to go the other way in order to get my wish, but then I might have to leave something behind. Make sense? So let's kind of tune in a bit more into the temptation. We'll test you. What is that talking about? Okay. It's all about money, guys, okay? Let's see what else, what's that talking about exactly. It feels like you'll have to find balance when it comes to work and that's your temptation. You might have a job uh, opportunity where you can earn so much more money but it's, you know it's going to be so much more stressful and maybe you already have anxiety or you don't sleep very well and you're like, damn it, I'm really stressed. I don't know if I should take this new job and this is gonna be your test, okay? We have Queen of Swords reversed. That might that offer might come from feminine or from someone who uh, works in a logical in a field where you need to use your logic a lot. Okay, when it if, 
straightforward, make quick decisions, don't doubt yourself. That kind of a thing here, okay? Let's see what else. Yeah, and you will not know what to do. So this is going to be your temptation. What do I do? Do I take this job or this opportunity that I know I'm gonna have to work a lot for? I'll have to be concentrated and I'll have to keep myself going drinking that coffee, okay? The last card I've pulled is Page of Cups. Or do I want to live this life where I don't have as much responsibilities and I can live this kind of carefree life a bit longer and um, concentrate on my career a little bit further on in the future. So that's gonna be your decision to make, guys, okay? Let's take a look at the person we have here with Six of Cups, someone from the past. I would like to see what's up, what they're gonna bring you. Okay, one card on the floor, what we have here. The Wheel of Fortune, told you, really, really nice connection here. Someone who, <laughs> someone who's gonna bring your smile on your face, okay? Yeah, and this is someone who has been through a lot in the past. And that is why probably they are so nice because they wouldn't want anyone else to experience things that they have. This is someone who tried to raise their kids in a way where um, they're trying to protect them from anything bad happening in 3D, okay? This is someone who is like, I want to give them all. I want to give those people who have been through heartaches or hardships, everything. We have seven of cups here. Let's see. What they're gonna bring you? The world. It seems like you might travel, guys, uh, towards this person or this person might travel towards you. And this might be a decision that, had, that will have to be made, okay? Who travels towards who? Because Seven of Cups is like, which cup do I choose? What do I do about this? Then we have the sun. This is beautiful. You're gonna have an amazing time. This person might have a pet or... Um, no, I'm just feeling a pet, okay? Or maybe you do. That can be your energy too. This person might bring you new opportunities when it comes to new stable beginnings, okay? It seems like I pick up the Ace of Pentacles in your reading pile number three so differently. It seems like you've always been on that side of a fence and this person will text you or you will meet them and they'll be like, hey, come over to my God and see how my world is, literally. See how my world is. And I think it's going to start really new, refreshing beginnings for you where you're like, oh my God, I think that's all I needed. Now I can finally see the sun the way I saw it when I was a child. It's a lot to do with that energy, you know, remembering how happy and carefree you used to be when it comes to your childhood. Even if you didn't have the best childhood, you will suddenly have this feeling of being carefree and enjoying life to the fullest. And just remember that whoever that person is, for some of you, it might be someone coming from your past life, okay? You might not know this person in 3D, but you will recognize their soul. Okay, so I hope that this reading helped out. Pile number three, let me know if it did. I love you, my tribe. Whoever is new, consider joining our family and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.